we're going to talk about the multiple examples of NumPy to further learn and understand what NumPy really is. The types of examples include changing rows and columns, talking about different types of arrays, solve mathematical equations, and so much more. First and foremost, we need to import NumPy into our code by typing in import NumPy as NP. Okay, click run. All right, now it's it's been run. All right, now for our first example, we want to make a simple array. Okay, um, type in A, which is our variable, and equal it to np.array to specify that we're making an array. Okay, now add the parentheses. All right, inside the, the parentheses, you want to create a list by inputting your desired numbers to make an array. Okay, so let's say we want um, five, eight, three, nine, and 10, let's see. Okay, uh, let's just, yeah. All right, click on run. Oh, don't forget to, the print function to actually display the results, right? There we go. Here is our first array, um, which is one dimensional. All right, um, okay. Um, so if you want to make a two-dimensional array, just add in a list on top of a list and basically re repeat the same process. All right, so basically, let's just say um, b equals np.array and then um, add the parentheses, of course. Um, and then let's just say 3 five seven eight and then close it and then make another one by adding a comma okay and then let's just say six four two one okay all right don't forget the print function to display it okay click run all right, here you'll see two dimensionals, um, one, okay? All right, um, now, even though we already know the dimensions of these, um, we can still use a function that can tell us the dimensions of each of our arrays. So basically, over here in the next line of code, um, just type in a variable of your array that you want to get the dimensions to, followed by a period, right? So, say, a dot um, n d i m. Okay, this is the function to grab the dimensions of um, these ones. Okay, of the variables, right? Just simply click on run and then here you'll see that it is indeed a uh, one dimensional right so what about for variable b even though we already know that is two dimensional is it's always good to check right so let's just say b dot n d i m okay now click run again all right we are indeed correct this is a two dimensional one okay all right if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to Slapjacks. Thank you for watching.